Hey y'all, this is Ned over my Philippine Dreams and today we are at Lord Byron's. Lord Byron's is located just south of the city. You go past the mall, you go past the gas station, you go past the Nissan dealership to Hermogena Apartments. It's a big sign for Hermogena Apartments. And tucked away in the back you will find this little restaurant called Lord Byron's. Lord Byron's parent company is in Bacolod and the location is a little odd. The, the location is the only thing that's really not going well for it because the food is excellent. I'm actually having pork ribs today and you can see the flies. The flies like it too. But look at the size of that pork rib and it is delectable. I actually started to eat it which doesn't make for a good video, but hey. And that's only 150 pesos for lunch, and the flies don't eat too much. It's open air, there's little fans, they have Wi-Fi. The selection is a little limited. They have like cheeseburgers, ribs, sea cig. Uh, this is actually the menu right here. And they have a few items, but those few items that they have, they do extremely well. This is by far, in my humble opinion, the best cheeseburger in Dumaguete City. I ask them where they get their hamburg from, and they never tell me. They tell me it's from Bacolod. So they're importing it down here. And again, this is lunchtime, so there's nobody here. I'm actually getting a cheeseburger for takeout, which I'm going to have for dinner tonight, because Michelle is working. But it's really good it's a really good bargain it's kind of in a weird location and again that's the only thing going against it if you go on their facebook page lord byron's dumaguete you'll see a lot of reviews and they're all glowing stellar reviews and uh, again i'm going to give it a glowing stellar giant thumbs up to lord byron's in dumaguete this net my philippine dreams eating cheap i think it's like three dollars something like that Anyways, see you next time Alright, for those looking for alternate modes of conveyance, you can actually have your own trike. And this one is really well made. It's got bull bars on the front, nice seats, nice wheels. These are much heavier duty than the normal trike wheels. It's got all kinds of lights on it, bars in the back. And it's even got uh, it's a TMX, a Honda 165 TMX. And the leg guards right there. It's a nice trike. It also looks like it's got a satellite phone or something. Who knows? Yeah, we're fun in the Philippines. So today I'm shopping for a new automatic scooter, Honda Click or a Yamaha Mio MXI. But now I'm seeing this and I kind of like it. And it's practical, it's got a lot of storage space, diesel, so it's not too bad on fuel costs. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Here's another example of a private scooter, private tricycle. And they got a Honda, they got the old Honda 70. And they got guards. They got lots of guard dogs. Wants the goop, wants the... I think that's a goose? Oh, I'm sorry. Really wants the goose. <laughs>